And I thought I loved Fruit Loops. Uh, <laughs> you probably remember her. That's Internet star Glozell last year. Well, the president sat down for an interview with her and a few other YouTube sensations. Now, this year, he's doing the exact same thing, and it's happening today. The interviewers are Destin Sandlin of the Science Channel's Smarter Every Day. Adonde Thorne, known to his online fans as Swoozy, and Ingrid Nielsen, also known by her YouTube name, Miss Glamorazzi. They all have more than 3 million subscribers, and naturally, they're all really excited to talk to the president about the issues that matter to them. I would love for this to be different. I want to ask questions about scientific topics, something I care about. What about the personal things about being the president? Wouldn't that be cool? Whatever issues you want to ask the president about, which is his favorite Kardashian, what's his favorite video game, we're going to keep it fun, but I'm pretty sure he's going to stick to important questions. From women's issues that I want to talk about, to LGBT issues, to health care, unemployment, and lots of other things as well. All right, so the president, he does well in these settings. I mean, I give him that. He does it better than anybody, and he knows how to inject his positions into the culture, which is so powerful. But is the tone off given what's going on, or does anyone care anymore? Well, the lesson for me, I will never score an interview with the president unless I drink milk from my bathtub and develop an enormous <laughs> YouTube Even then, following Rich, I'm not basis. sure you'd get like it. Like you yeah, don't probably. do that anyway. <laughs> right? Yeah, exactly. Stop it. Touche. <laughs> um, this is part of a bigger trend, right? I mean, what is defined as the media has expanded. It used to be three broadcast networks, a couple newspapers, and that's it. And now it's anyone who's interested in public affairs or even just has a following. So I find it kind of annoying and distasteful, but for mm -hmm. the president's um, uses, it makes complete sense. It's a way to, to reach an audience he might not otherwise. Well, Julie, he's been annoying and distasteful for years now, though, so we're <laughs> not really surprised. I mean, he jumped in the bathtub with Glozell. He, he went to be interviewed with um, Pimp with a Limp right after Benghazi. I mean, he's been hit on this before, tone and venue of these interviews. But again, you got to give him credit. He does do it well, and it gets him headlines. You're not the audience, my friend. I keep saying this. His only priority, I shouldn't say his only, his uh, major priority for him is to turn over his presidency to a Democrat because that's the only way the gains that he has made are going to be solidified in his mind. This is what you need to do to get to put, to put together that Democratic coalition. Younger voters who may not be excited about Hillary Clinton but have a lot of uh, time for him, Minority voters, um, you know, across the board, this is him delivering that coalition to her and passing does it along. Does, does it get delivered to, to her, though, Harris? I don't well, think well, so. Well, it may or may not. It depends on whether or not she's the nominee. But, but I, I would argue probably not just simply because um, she's not able to continue the conversation with him the way that he right. is. And, and by the way, if the question is, well, where did all those young voters go? Right. Well, they got eight years older. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, so now, and, and typically, if you look at yeah. research, you get more conservative the older you get. I mean, statistically, that's been, been true. Um, but, you know, for President Obama, what's really interesting about this is it's still, it's like a, an evening talk show. Yeah. It's still in that realm of, well, it's media, but not quite journalism. So you can get your message out there and not necessarily be challenged. That's a platform. Now, is For Hillary sure. Clinton going to dive into a hot tub of Apple Jacks with Glozell next? I mean, she might, she might try, and it'll look totally insincere. Listen, I don't have a problem with this. I think he's everybody's president. So if he wants to go out and do this, there's no problem connecting with younger people and talking about science and other issues. I just wish he were doing the rest of it well, too. I wish he mm. were dealing with ISIS. Like, it's too bad he can't do both. I see nothing wrong with this. But but I would like him to keep us a little safer. Yeah, no, I agree.